Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service. And today I show you an application logic vulnerability um, slash information disclosure vulnerability, whereby we can construct an attack to generate credentials to a portal by simply analyzing JavaScript code and putting the puzzle pieces together in order to gain illegitimate access. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our menu and then you'll see a menu.php is loading. And the, the key thing when it comes to bug bounty and, and to analyzing websites is like always pay attention to detail, right? So I, I can now look at the site and this is the user front end obviously, but I always like to use Burp for these kind of things. So you can see here was my request. So I, I was doing the get the get request to the menu.php. And then I will go through all of these, um, you know, like uh, through all of the code, which is being returned to me. And, but what I immediately see is I didn't call this ex explicitly, right? Like I didn't call the API loader PHP. And what, what stands out to me when I look at this, so this was obviously loaded in the background. When I browse to menu.php, what what immediately stands out to me is that there's a parameter called f f equals forward slash reviews.php so basically this looks off a bit because um why would you load a php file through a get url request right like this is there is nicer ways to do this this looks somehow off but but more more importantly there i know i know now that there is an, an f parameter f equals right so one thing to do is like just finding out well first of all let's let's send it to repeater and then one thing i like to do always is like whenever i find a parameter i i check it for open redirects i check it for cross-site scripting and things like that but what i also like to do is simply taking this parameter and basically look for it in burp like if i have, have browsed the website before and you know like it's logging all the requests when you browse through burp and maybe i have missed something and maybe it's referenced somewhere in the source code so you can go up here burp search and then you simply put this in um what you're searching for and then i also limit this to in scope only so that i'm only getting this parameter within my application or within my scope and then i hit run and then i can immediately see that hey it actually has detected that parameter somewhere in something called the script.min.js in a javascript file so yeah it sounds interesting so let's review this so we go in here so we are simply making a get request get assets js um script.min.js right like so this is the get request but we are interested in the response now the nice feature with this with this burp um search tool is it will immediately point you towards the location where it's actually found. So you see there's one match here. And then if I click this, I'm right getting sent to, to that specific code. So you, you see this is like in line 1152. So it would have taken me a while to manually find this. So this is why it's very handy to, to use this tool, right? But what I see here is there is actually something. So this is a so-called Ajax request where basically a request is being made, a get request is being made to, to that F parameter, and it's filled in with something called generate credentials. And that, that sounds interesting to me. So let me copy this out here and replace the reviews.php with the generate credentials, what I just found in the JavaScript file. And then I hit send. And then all of a sudden you can see that, hey, we generated credentials. Wow, this is this is pretty cool, right? So the username is test Shishono, and then the password is this password here. So what I'm going to do is I copy the password and I'm moving over to the website. I go back to the home page and I go to the login and register. And then for example, here you would say like if I request an account, it says like there's zero invites available. So I couldn't just generate an account for myself. But I can now say test C Shono with those credentials I just generated, C Shono, and then the password and log in. See if that works. And it did not work. So maybe I had a typo in there or something. Um, let's just take a real quick look. So 
this is the password in the test C channel. So maybe I had a I had a typo. Let's just retry that again. So login and we say test C channel and then the password and then log in and there we go. So I'm now logged in as this person, right? So I'm a standard user, it's not an admin account, but I was able to generate credentials um, by simply reviewing parameters, API calls, and JavaScript files. And I was able to construct an attack, which allowed me to generate credentials and then log in with those credentials. I hope this makes sense. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.